What's up, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and uh, we all know by now that Eurovision 2019, 41 songs are taking part, and we know them all by now, right? Just like for a week now at least. So that means I get to uh, judge them. We all love to judge, and that's what we're all good at, and we all have our thoughts. But what I'm going to do is I look at each individual country and look at whether I like the 2018 song better or the 2019 song. And then do a final score and see which year I like better. How do you think that's going to turn out? I don't know yet. I haven't done it yet. I put the countries in random order on random.org, so I'm not going to have like a specific system in mind. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here, right now. I would love to hear from you at the very end as well, which year you like better and compare each country. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, first up is Slovenia. So Slovenia... Two good songs to me. I don't think there's anything bad about either of them. Solid. And um, as much as I enjoyed the crazy break with Valane. Music, please. Music. Uh, Slovenia 2019 just is a little bit more complete and polished, I think. So I like them both, but I gotta go with 2019. What's next? Belgium. So I love me a really good... James Bond anthem and even though Senec did not qualify this song just is more for me so I'll pick 2018 next up Austria oh uh -huh. that's one easy that one is super easy for me Cesar Samson nobody but you one of my favorites last year so good love me some good gospel uh, there's a reason it won the jury vote right so um, it won over my heart as well so once again 2018 Italy oh Italy Italy is, oh no, Italy is tough. Italy is in my top 10 in 2018 and 2019. Last year's song was so good. Oh, you watch my reaction videos, right? You know that I'm telling the truth. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I really think that Soldi is one of the most complete and perfect songs that Eurovision has to offer this year. It has so, from so many different aspects and I'm just so in love with it, and I can't believe it, but I have to pick 2019. Nothing against 2018. I love it. I love it, but I gotta pick one. So 2019 for Italy. Latvia. So both are, um, in Latvia, both songs were pretty comfortable, somewhere in between, right? None of them really make you jump out of the chair, but no one makes you want to throw the chair either, in my view. So um, I do think that um, 2019 is a little bit more soothing. So I'm going to go ahead with that. So I prefer 2019. Next up, Iceland. Oh, hmm. Let me think about this one for two. Well, 2019, of course. <laughs> Not even a competition. Gotta be 20. Okay. So what's next? France. Um, merci, merci, merci. Yes, gotta be 2018. So, yeah. Next up. Albania. Okay, Albania also two good songs in a row, so um, this is not as easy, and this is unfair, and this is where, you know, familiarity comes a little bit into play and gives an unfair advantage to the 2018 years, because with Mal, I feel like I have had more time to connect with and listen to it for over a year now, and I love it so much, but Janina could easily become my pick in the future, but for right now, I'm gonna go with 2018, just because I have more of an emotional connection with it as of right now. Um, Azerbaijan. Okay, so I didn't dislike Cross My Heart as much as some other folks. Yet this is a fairly generic pop song, nothing to brag about, but it wasn't bad. But 2019 is just amazing. Truth, oh, so good. And you shut up about it. So 2019 for Azerbaijan. Moldova, yeah, well, I was one of the few early uh, vocal supporters of My Lucky Day. Um, I was in the minority until the staging was revealed. All of a sudden, everyone was flocking to it. So I can consider myself as one of the original supporters, and I love it so much. Gotta be 2018. Next up. Is... Oh, no. I'm regretting doing this right now. Um, I love... <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, so obviously Netta, she won the contest and has one of the most out there, in your face songs and I give her so much props for going with something so daring and different. Very polarizing, I love it. Kobe comes along here with this fragile um, ballad that really just 
works for me. It's my kind of music as well. So I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna follow the same logic as I did with um, Albania because I had so much time to listen to Toy. Right now I'm going to pick 2018, but I have a feeling that Kobe... I don't know, it's so good. I don't know, don't hate me, Israel. I'm gonna go with 2018 right now, but it's by a hair. By a hair. Okay, 20, um, Serbia. Um, Serbia is... Oh, yeah. Serbia is an easy one for me. I wasn't into 2018 at all. 2019, she has a beautiful voice, and it's a pretty melody. So 2019, most definitely for Serbia. Denmark. Denmark, I will go... With, oh, no, that's another tough one. Either the, the Vikings or the happy lovey-dovey song. Um, look. Uh, Rasmussen's Freeze the Arrows in the Air, one of the most remarkable and best Eurovision one-liners of all time. You gotta love it. I love that song. But Love Is Forever just warms my heart. It hurts. It's so off. Oh, I gotta go with 2019. I think I'm going to be in the minority, but I gotta go with 2019. Uh, North Macedonia. Well, last year it wasn't North Macedonia yet, but same thing, right? 2018. Oh, well, I gotta go with Lost and Found. Um, that song to me, even though they kind of butchered the staging, the song is so good. The song is just totally up my alley. So 2018 for North Macedonia. Georgia. Oh, Georgia. So I think I was one of the three people that loved Georgia last year. My taste last year was less mainstream. Um, it's so beautiful. And it finished dead last in the semis. But um, I love it too much, and I got, it's got to be 2018. 2018 for Georgia. Romania. So Romania is a little like, you know, under the radar right now. Their songs, while not horrible, they're just not remarkable enough to really make me go wow. And I want them to return to the former glory. <laughs> uh, between those two songs, it really comes down to personal taste. Um, I think I clicked more with 2018, so that's the one I'm choosing. Um, Croatia, well, that's another easy one. Once again, I was one of the few Franca supporters, loved her song. One of my favorites was in my top 10, and I thought she was beautiful. She sounded amazing. The song was nice. I just really, really liked it, and I was still rooting to the very last minute that it's going to qualify. I, had, I predicted it to qualify. It did not happen, but 2018 for me, for Croatia. Finland. Oh, Finland. Um... The Sara Alto fans are going to be really mad at me, but if they would have sent Dominoes, I would have chosen 2018, but since didn't, I gotta go with 2019. Sorry. So that's Finland, moving on to Australia. Z-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E
Lie to me, baby. Lie to me all day. So 2018, it is. San Marino. So, um, San Marino. Gotta love the robots from last year, right? But come on. It's so hot. Say na na na. Say ya ya ya. 2019 all the way for me. All the way. Lithuania. Nothing wrong with Running With Lions. Uh, perfectly fine song. I just think as When We're Old was such a fragile, exposed song that had this really genuine vibe and feel to it. I loved it and to me Lithuania was the biggest grower of 2018. So I gotta go with 2018. Who is next? Estonia. So uh, Storm, Storm, right? another perfectly fine song I enjoyed very much and uh, I wish Estonia the best of luck. I just think 2018 was a little bit more remarkable and outstanding. So I'll go with 2018. Um, Greece. Onairumu, oh that was so sad. I really liked Onairumu last year and it was fascinating how the Greek folks, even though they're always very proud of their songs, last year it was very different. They had a very special connection with that song because it spoke to them as, you know, their country, their heritage and all of that stuff. Um, I knew when the, I remember when the staging was not coming together and I predicted did not qual wouldn't qualify. People were getting so mad at me. Um, but this year is so good. Battle Up is such a good pop song. Um, I gotta go with 2019. I gotta go with 2019. Uh, Cyprus. Oh, funny how these two come in a row here. Uh, oh no, this is another tough one. Both have fun, upbeat songs. So, oh, I like them both. So, <sighs> what am I gonna do? Okay, so I just have to follow the Albania rule I just did at um, Eleni. She won us all over with her staging, the whole package, and it all just worked so well. And I'm so more used to it, to that song. So I will pick 2018 for now, but this is not a fair comparison if you think about it, because I don't know Tamta staging, and she could easily dethrone Eleni come May. So that's the only reason. I don't have a much more logical way to decide this. So I'm going to go with 2018 just because I know the whole package. Ireland. Okay, again, two very please, uh, pleasing songs in a row from Ireland. Maybe they're slightly, sl uh, slowly figuring things out again at Eurovision. Uh, last year was a nice song that, you know, after like two or three listens, I was really appreciating. 22 to me was like a little bit more of an immediate hook there. So I will go with 2019 actually. But nothing against the Ryan song. Not at all. Hungary! Oh, no, Hungary, I will, oh, I, lo I love both songs, but I love AWS so much, so I gotta go with 2018. Gotta do it. The United Kingdom, oh, no, United Kingdom, I want them to do so well, they, it, they still haven't figured things out yet in Eurovision, neither of the songs really make me uh, want to, again, jump out of my chair, but I do feel as... Um, Michael Rice's song is a little bit more grand and powerful and remarkable and for that reason I'm gonna go with 2019 so yes 2019 it is Belarus oh <laughs> you know 2019 it's very much Britney Spears 1999 right uh, very young singer very repetitive um, at least 2018, they did an amazing job with the staging. You know, it was very dramatic and over the top with the roses shooting through your hand and the rose paddles growing out of your back. And it's just it's like, oh my God, those visuals are insane. And it's not fair because once again, we don't have the visuals for 2019 yet. So for now, I'm gonna go with 2018. Spain. Okay, this is very interesting. Tu Cancion, I was really enjoying last year. It's one of those songs, though, that doesn't withstand the test of time. Like, it gotten a little stale after a while. This year is like pure Spanish music. Do you know what I mean? Like, some of that party music that we would expect from Spain, and it's so energetic. I gotta go with 2019. I gotta go with 2019. Next up, Montenegro. Well, last year we had Balkan music, and give me Balkan music, a good Balkan ballad, and I'm sold. So, 2018, it is. Switzerland. Oh no, I am going against the green here. So, 
Every, I can't believe the year where Switzerland is number four in the betting odds, which hasn't happened in over a decade that they're high up there, is the year where I will go with the other song, because I love Stones so much. And I know I'm probably going to be in the minority here, but I love Stones, Energy, and oh, it was so good. So don't hate me, but I love 2018 so much. Nothing against 2019, but that's me. That's my taste. Um, Armenia. Oh, good. Okay, so two great songs again in a row. And this continues this very unfair advantage that 2018 has Kami. I loved Kami. I loved it. And um, I'm still upset it didn't qualify. What happened there? I gotta go with 2018. I, I just love it so much. But nothing against 2018. It's also a good song. And once again, this may flip. This may flip in the near future. Just for now. Just for now. Portugal. Okay, Portugal is very interesting. I remember in 2017, I was one of the very early Portugal supporters. I was very vocal about it and, like, collapsed after they won. And all the Portuguese fans came to ESC United and were, like, all excited. And they're like, oh, man, now you're going to love our 2018 song. And I was like, mm, it's okay. And they're like, you love it? Bye! <laughs> I'm like, great, don't hate me. Um, but you can come back Portugal, because 2019, once again, I'm Team Portugal. So definitely 2019 takes the cake. Germany, okay. Germany, oh well. Michael Schulte touched my heart, a song that speaks to me. Um, I can share the experience that he had. So um, I, I just connected with it. So 2018, for sure. Norway. Norway, oh, mm -hmm. so <laughs> if you watch my video that uh, I did, Norway was probably my least favorite last year. So it's a low bar here for Kaino to beat, but Kaino is just fun Eurovision music, and obviously 2019 is my winner here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and the last one, Sweden. Dance you off or too late for love. Um, that's another very easy one. Wrapping it up with an easy one for me. I wish Sweden all the best of luck in Tel Aviv with Too Late for Love 2019. That is my vote. All right. There you have it. My thoughts. Let's tally up and see which year wins. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I didn't expect you to be this close. 21 to 20. Technically, 2019 wins. By one vote, so it's almost a tie. That was close, where you're like looking at the score going up and down. This is a random order. I had no idea how this would pan out. But yeah, so if you look at the results right now, 2019 is my winner. And both years were really good to me. And um, as I said, there are some s swingers, what word should I use there, that could potentially go towards the 2019 way and at some point could be even higher the difference. So as of right now, I guess I have to say 2019 takes the cake but not by much. So I would love to hear from you. Do the same ranking, feel free to share the whole thing or just share your overall results in the comments section. And uh, thanks for watching, have a good day. On to the next video.